Meet Shilpi. Each day she fishes on the Posho River. She's surrounded by water. Water, water everywhere, but not a drop to drink. Shilpi lives in the Signal Tower Colony, a community of climate-induced migrants. She has recently been widowed. So each day she must support her one-and-a-half-year-old son and autistic daughter. Slaving away under the hot sun, there are many things standing between Shilpi and a cool, clean glass of water. There's a rainwater harvest pond, but it's more than an hour away. The water vendors sell water, but she cannot afford the charge. There are two common water points, but the water is not drinkable and often needs purifying. Plus, the supply is low, and the water points are only accessible for a short time in the morning and afternoon. Those who can't get water within the assigned time have to return empty-handed. There's a pond, but it's saline, and the water is contaminated. It gets even worse in summer and when storms and high tides ruin the water quality. Government and non-government organizations have given out a few rainwater harvesting tanks, but they are expensive and require space which few have, so they are not enough. A legal water connection would only be available for a short time in the morning and afternoon and would cost the dwellers around 40 US dollars which they can't afford. Signal Tower Colony residents are scared of spending such a huge amount as they lack land ownership and face eviction at any time. So what should be done to solve their water problems? The most inclusive solution would be if the local government or municipal authority charges less for connecting the community and for the monthly water bill. In addition, a rainwater harvesting pond would help the residents if they get assistance from the government and non-government service providers. Plus, tenure security will enable them to invest in the water source and stay in the area. Another solution would be to provide a rainwater harvesting tank for each individual. It would mean a sizable investment from each resident. But if government and non-government services provide them at around 95% of the total, the residents could bear the rest of the cost. Alternatively, the community could separate into community groups, each serviced by a rainwater harvest tank. The major cost would need to be provided by government and non-government service providers, and the community will share around 10% of the total cost. But once again, this solution would require tenure security. The community faced eviction attempts in both 2008 and 2019. With nowhere else to go, they formed a mass movement, rising up and demanding that the municipality mayor protected them from eviction. He agreed and also improved access to electricity and safer roads. Shilpi and her community now need access to clean, safe water. It is a human right that no one should be without. The Inclusive Urban Infrastructure Research Project explores how urban infrastructure is provided in the Global South and how it can benefit the most marginalized. To find out more, visit inclusiveinfrastructure.org.